That right there is a couple of uh, rear legs off of a deer. And this is a mukbang video. Right there we have my uh, 10 month old Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan and my uh, 2 year old German Shepherd Lobo. And they're pretty excited. Down, nope. Nope, down. There you go, Bo. Those uh, deer legs are uh, frozen solid, so it's gonna take them a while to munch through those things. They got the front legs yesterday. I didn't film that one, though. My uh, brother-in-law, Ross, got a uh, deer this year and uh, he was kind enough to give me the legs off of it and uh, some other scraps for the dogs. Again, those things are frozen solid. They've been sitting inside my uh, chest freezer in the uh, garage for a little while. I feed my dogs what's called a uh, BARF diet which stands for uh, biologically appropriate raw foods. It was created by a uh, Dr. Ian Billinghurst who's a uh, veterinarian. This type of diet is supposed to uh, address and help prevent a lot of the uh, skeletal diseases that are uh, plaguing modern dogs uh, that are the result of uh, a uh, overly processed uh, modern dog food. I don't know, yesterday when he was eating the forelegs off the deer, he ate the uh, hooves first. Now I don't claim to be a canine nutritionist. I'm just some guy on YouTube. But uh, this is a great way to feed your dogs. I recommend if you're... Uh, interested in learning more about feeding this way that you do a little research. There's uh, lots of good websites online related to the BARF diet and feeding raw. There's also some uh, good resources on YouTube. There are uh, two books I highly recommend by Dr. Ian Billinghurst. One's called uh, Give Your Dog a Bone and the other one's called uh, Grow Your Pups with Bones. I like to give them stuff like this frozen because it uh, slows them down a little bit. Keeps them from uh, wolfing it down, so to speak. There's nothing left of the front legs they ate yesterday. This is the way canines were meant to eat. Raw bones are good for your dogs. It's cooked bones you don't want to feed your dogs. We got a couple of inches of snow the day before uh, Thanksgiving. On the 23rd, it's now uh, November uh, 27th, and uh, as you can see, that snow is uh, pretty well gone. We got some rain on top of it, which took care of it.
I've been feeding this way for about 15 years or so. And I've had great results uh, feeding this way. My dogs uh, thrive on this kind of diet. I augment the uh, raw meaty bones and uh, vegetables and berries and that my dogs get with a uh, high quality grain free uh, kibble which is a salmon and pea formula. Because this leg is fully frozen, it'll probably take him a good couple hours to consume the whole thing, but he will eat that whole egg. Matter of fact, uh, when I gave them the uh, four legs off the deer yesterday, uh, Kurgan ate all of his and then ate what was left of Lobo's when Lobo was done with it. A lot of my friends that are hunters uh, know that I feed this way and so they'll save me scraps like this that they would normally throw away for my dogs and uh, I'm much, much obliged. My yard winterized for the year. My table and chairs are all up off the uh, ground to make it easier to shovel. If you're wondering why I have uh, chairs up along the top of my fence, that's why. Again, I live in Minnesota. We get quite a bit of snow. I've got the uh, upper legs to the uh, deer that this uh, lower leg comes from in the uh, garage still frozen. They'll be getting over the next few days. Again, thanks a lot, Ross, for uh, the deer. I appreciate it. Again, that leg's frozen solid. As you can probably hear when it hits the brick there.